five. Folks, prepare yourselves for a comic who's been on Adult Swim's The Eric Andre Show. And you probably know her from her comedy special, These Lips. And she's also an actor who's been in the greatest lesbian comedy films of all time. She puts the pop in popcorn, the French in fries, the sweet in pies, and she'll make you laugh until you cries. Put your hands together for Jackie Monahan! Hi, everybody. It's so good to be here. I miss everybody. It's been a while. It's been a while. I almost forgot what a green screen was. I'm not using one. This is all real. 100% real. And I'm really happy to be back. I missed everybody. I missed everybody. We have a special treat. Can anybody guess who I miss the most? One, two, put it... One, two, you know what to do. You know it was Lisa. It was Lisa. I miss Lisa. Before we get to Lisa, <laughs> I want to... You guys know I have songs that I write. I'm going to write one. I'm going to sing one right now just in case you forget. I wish I never learned that dust was made out of basically just skin. If I have to know, so do you. You think you're a vegetarian, think again. You're ingesting your friends. Okay, so I'm, I'm writing a new one. There's, I have other ones too, but I'm writing a new one. So I'm going, well, first I have this one. I forgot about this one. I, I don't know what's been going on with me and songs, but um, here's one. Here's another one. It's called Vagina is God and Penis is the Devil. Everyone, Vagina is God, Penis is the Devil. It's so good. It's so good. It's a crowd pleaser. Okay, so the new one, the one I'm working on that's not finished, Vagina is God is done. There, there, there has been uh, some, some um, play around with other lyrics. Other lyrics for Vagina and God. Okay, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to do it the other version. You guys vote in the box what you like better. The first version that just ends... I love that. That's the version I like. But this is the version that other people like more. Tell me, put vote in the chats which version you like. Version 1 or version 2? So version 2 is vagina is God and penis is the devil. Everyone, vagina is God, penis is the devil. And sometimes you want a little bit of evil inside of me, inside of me, but never ever saw to me. That's what some people like. Some people really like that one. Uh, but I, I just like the truth. And the truth is vagina is God, penis is the devil. That's the truth. Okay, so, oh, and I've never had been sodomized. I'm not saying that that's, that that's good or bad. It's my preference. And, and it's, something, it's something that I want written on my tombstone. I don't plan to be buried. I plan to be torn apart by wolves or fed to the sharks, but not buried. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous to take up some earth. Well, but you could feed me to the earth, but don't put me in the coffin. You just put my body into the earth. That's fine for the worms. But... If everybody could sing Vagina is God and Penis is the Devil at my funeral, I would love that. I also want my funeral party to be half in New York, half in L.A. at the same time. And I want everybody to scream and dance to Like a Prayer. When you call my name, it's like a little prayer. Um, you know what though, Madonna, I'm not really loving Madonna anymore, but I used to go clubbing, right? And I would, that song come on, and I'd be like, ooh, and I loved it. But I just saw her on Dave Letterman, and it was, it was a little disappointing. But, whatever. I, I, I degrees. The song I'm really working on is... Okay, it's supposed to sound like I'm saying this word like philosophy is a rock on a security rock religion. Okay, ready? Bureaucracy. The, uh, <laughs> the worst thing in the world is bureaucracy. 
You might say, isn't it starving children? And I would like to say, it's bureaucracy. Bureau I'm not saying all bureaucracy is evil. I am saying it's the cause for the starving children. And if it wasn't for bureaucracy, there wouldn't be cause starving children is all I'm saying. Let's abolish bad democracy. Okay, I don't have children, so we don't have to rush on that. But, um, I mean, I just remember being a kid and my mom being like, eat your broccoli. Either are starving children. And I'm like, you're the fucking adult here. Why are we just sitting around? Like, can you do something to help those children? Why? Why? Why is force feeding me broccoli helping these children? <laughs> Go help those children. Okay, let's try to write a joke. Here we go. Ready? Bureaucracy is a walk on a sticker. Oh. My favorite. My bureaucracy. Oh. That's this song. Bu bureaucracy is going to drop in October 1st. October 28th. Bureaucracy will drop. But I'm still working on it. If anybody has. Oh, everybody liked the second one better. Huh. Everybody liked that. Okay, interesting. Vagina is God and penis is the devil. Sometimes you want a little bit of evil. Do you like that version, Lisa? Or do you I like do. you do? Yeah, I like it a lot. Oh, okay. But you didn't like just the speaking the truth. Oh no I like that as well. But I I, I enjoy the little extra evil inside of you. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, hype, 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 too, too. Any comments on bureaucracy? I'm really, this is a new one. This is very new. But I feel like you, did, have you guys seen Penis is God and Vi Vagina is a Devil yet? So that was new to you guys, because you haven't seen me in a month. But, uh, three weeks, three weeks. Anyway, no one, nobody likes to be a bureaucracy. I got a laugh last night doing it, I gotta tell you that. But yeah, it, it needs a lot of work. God damn it. Uh, I, I used to have real life jobs. Did you know that, Lisa? Mm hmm. Um, the easiest one I ever had, a real life job that I had that was really easy, was I had, was paid to make people with Alzheimer's laugh. And it was so easy because I could say the same joke over and over and over again. But I'm done. Okay, everybody, you know where you love her. You're envisioning her without pants on. She's the scene stealer extraordinaire. You can see her on the HBO's search party, stealing the scenes as we speak. Please welcome the one, the only, I love her to the moon, Lisa Haas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. That's so very nice of you to say. Here. Oh, that is, I love that chair. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, I, I, um, I've never had a job that was easy ever. Like a, like a real job, like the quote unquote real job. Never. That's never. easy. Yeah. I mean, I, that, that Alzheimer's joke, it, the, the job was hard. It's just a joke. <laughs> it, it really was. I, I did do jokes over and over again. But um, mostly what I would do, I mostly just drove this woman around. And, um, but I would, a lot of times I would be like, hey, there's your boyfriend. And she'd be like, where? And it, I would... <laughs> I would have, I would do that joke to her over and over again. And it would, she would always turn and it would be somebody ridiculous. And she would be, and she would laugh and laugh. She'd be like, where, where? But then I had to stop doing it because she, she was starting to ask out her neighbors. <laughs> it was really rough. It was rough. Oh my God. And then... All right, truth be told, now I'm telling you all the truth. All of that was the truth, but I also took her to AA meetings. Mm -hmm. She was sober. She got Alzheimer's from drinking too much. Oh. Yeah. 
And so we, her, her daughters were like, please keep my mother, my, our mother sober. And I was just like, yeah. So I took her to AA and in AA, you have to read, um, you, you read the 12 steps. And one of the steps was, you know, we make amends to people unless, the word is unless, unless it will hurt or kill them. <laughs> <laughs> and she every time she read it she read even if you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I never corrected her because I loved it I loved it I loved it I loved it even if and she would look accentuate it even <laughs> to kill <them. laughs> oh my god I loved it Okay, so we have to keep Lisa and I out of these horrible jobs that hurt us. Please welcome the donation board, Annie. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> here I come. Here I. Here I am. Here I am. Oh. Annie's amazing. There it goes. Uh, am I already spotlit? I am. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's that? I'm not spotlit. I don't know why. You are. I am. I'm not. I'm not. I can see myself on the Twitch screen, Jay. Now you're not. Oh. I'm not. I'm not a host, so I can't spotlight. Hey, look at that. Production is super easy, you guys. Super easy. Uh, What's up, everybody? Thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Um, if you want to donate to the Jackie Mo show, we do take them. True story, absolutely. Uh, it's it's really easy. How do you do it? Um, you can you can you can you can send us uh, money. I don't have any of my information up right now. I'm sorry, Jackie. Oh gosh, it's probably my fault because of my. We have we both have ADHD. Mm -hmm. But this is exciting, exciting because we're gonna do help us. We have ADHD. Let's put it, put it out there. That's right. But we do have ADHD. Uh, so we take donations. You guys, you can donate on Venmo at uh, at Comedy Hub. That's 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 our Venmo handle. Um, you can also drop bits. And when you do, we'll put your name up on on this fabulous board here. Absolutely, we'll put your name on that board. Let's go. Five, five, ten, and fifteen dollars gets you a star. Uh, Twenty, twenty-five, and fifty dollars gets you some some animated madness. Let's go! Thank you guys so much for uh, for supporting the show. Um, I'm gonna throw it back to Jackie now. Uh, Hi, everybody! Oh my gosh, Cebu, Cebu. How you doing, Cebu? Cebu, thank you. Um, you didn't miss us. We're here. Cebu, I wonder if I know you in real life. Everybody, this is all real life. This is what real life is. So, Lisa, what is yeah. going on with you? Um, well, Jackie, I, I, my girlfriend treated me to a pedicure yesterday. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It was this only the second one I've ever had in my entire life. Wow. Was she sick of what she was looking at? Is that what was happening? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, she went too. She was sick of herself. Oh, okay. And, and, and sick of, of my feet as well. And uh, so, and I, it's, it kind of creeps me out to have somebody I don't know just kind of like all over my toes. I, that's all I care about. That's all I want. I find it. I found it to be super, super creepy. But then afterwards, I was like, "Oh, I like looking at my toes." Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Can we see? I'll, I'll try. To see. <laughs> Let's see if I can g get these toes up there. Let's. Uh, here, I'm taking off my sock. Can. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, wow. You haven't seen the nail. Holy shit. Wait, you haven't seen... I saw red. Beautiful. Thank you. I don't know... If... I could see. Really TV beautiful. TV. I could see, but I don't know if they're... There they are. Bravo. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. I felt... Some... I felt like a big girl. There's some moving and shaking over there. So, uh, did you have fun with Madeline? I, oh, I sure did. Oh, I sure good, did. Good, I sure good. did. We 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 had grabbed a bite for her birthday. 
delicious, delicious and nutritious. And it was gluten free. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> or is it good? It was delicious. It was oh, delicious. Good, good, good. Can we do you go, do you want to do the top ten list? Yes. I All sure right. do. I, I'm so excited about it. Okay. Well, okay. Well, in honor of our guest Luigi. That's right. That's right. In honor of Luigi, we have brought to the table the top 10 list. The top 10 reasons pizza is better than sex. Okay, number 10. You're happy to see pizza the next day. <laughs> number nine. Pizza doesn't need a safe word. <laughs> number eight. It doesn't matter if the sausage is tiny. <laughs> number seven pizza won't get you pregnant that's right number six it just makes you look pregnant <laughs> yeah yeah Aww. number six eating pizza or pizza is easier to share with friends oh wait was that really yours pizza p uh, oh i'm so sorry i jumped it's okay. I'm going to be yours. Yours is better. Oh. I jumped. Um, number five, eating pizza doesn't get you <laughs> put to death in Somalia. And that is, can you imagine gay sex? And you, but do they, does an alarm go off? Like, how do they know if you're having gay sex? That's what I want to know. Like, is there undercover people? Like, you know how there's like people like trying to buy drugs or people trying to like have sex with you? <laughs> and if you... If to, if to, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, n number four, pizza doesn't have to be hot to eat it. Oh, wow. Um, number three, you don't have to call pizza an Uber. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> number two, pizza doesn't get clingy when you say all of you. <laughs> and the number one reason pizza is better than sex is you don't have to get pizza drunk to bring it home with you. Aww. How nice. That's the best part. That is the best part. Pizza. You don't have, nobody has to be tipsy. Uh, all right. All right. Um, okay. So, I think we're gonna, are we gonna show the viral video for Luigi? Oh, we do not have that ready at the moment. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Luigi, come out and play. Luigi, I wonder, all right, let's just tell everybody about Luigi. Luigi is our guest tonight, and Luigi has a viral video on, and you're going to see why, because he is so funny. We love him, and watch his viral video. Sometimes when I say viral, like, I worry that it's, law. do you believe in the law of attraction, Lisa? Do you believe in the law of attraction? Oh, do I? Do I? Yeah. I'm scared to keep uh, saying viral that I'll get the COVID. Do I? Do I believe in it? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I, 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 I appreciate that it's a, a thing that can yeah. happen. Yeah. I, I appreciate yeah. it. We should change the words. Like, there shouldn't be two virals. Like viral for, you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't, if the law of attraction is real, every time you're like, I'm going viral, like Luigi's going to get a virus. <laughs> <laughs> Lu Luigi went viral with this video and now he's a giant sensation and we have him here tonight and we're very excited, very excited, very excited. Please welcome the one, the only Luigi. <laughs> Woo, Luigi. I'm a Luigi Prima. And I make a best of pizza. Luigi, prima, you make the best pizza. Will you send some pizza to me and Lisa? That's a no problem. What do you want on the pizza? I want, I made up, I made up my own pizza, Luigi. It's called, I'm better than everybody. No, I'm only kidding. What, I don't, do you tell me what to name it? It's um, pepperoni and pineapple. <gasps> so okay. it's, not, it's not ham and pineapple, it's pepperoni and pineapple. I would have called that a pizza, the Pearl Harbor. The Pearl Harbor. Okay, yeah. all right. Pineapple, please. Because, okay. Because it kind of is, a, I feel like it's a little bit of an attack on me and it's a surprise. And it has a pineapple. 
<laughs> oh, Luigi, that's good. That's good. Thank you. I make a best of pizza. When are you going to wrestle the tablecloth? That's all I care about. <laughs> no, the, the I, uh, I can't wrestle it right now because uh, because I'm going to use it to set the table later. But right now, I'm just drying it because it got a very wet with the monster. I bet it did. I bet it did, Luigi. I mean a marinara. <laughs> I bet it did. Um, <laughs> Luigi, uh, I had something to ask you. Luigi, did you ever hear of Father Guido Sarducci? I did, yes. He's a very good uh, Italian uh, statesman. Yeah, he was a priest. Yeah. yeah. Were you ever a priest, Luigi? He absolved the many souls. It kept the many people out of hell, but into a purgatory as it's uh, a Catholic away. Would you rather be in hell or purgatory, Luigi? I, you know, uh, so the, the secret to making a good pizza, as you know, is to have a very hot oven. So I think because of the temperature in a hell, I, I would be in a hell because then I could have cooked the pizza faster, I'd get a Neapolitano style of crust. I feel like you're really thinking, you're really, what do you feel about Pizza Hut? Ooh, I think a Pizza Hut is a good if you want a pizza that it goes in the trash. If you need, if, if you have a, a <laughs> you're trying to a, sort of a, put a ballast in your trash, like a, how all the boats, they had to have a ballast or yeah. else the, the cargo would cause the ship to a rock back and forth. If you take out the a trash and you need it to a, keep the a trash from a falling, a, you, you'll ballast it with a Pizza Hut pizza. So wow. it's actually valuable in that way. It's very interesting. Very interesting. I like that. What about Domino's? Yes, a Domino's is, you know, I like a Domino's because you can eat a, a lot of them. I don't respect the taste, but the crust is almost <laughs> made with like a baking soda. So it's a very airy. I can put down two to a three of those on no problem. <laughs> so you're saying the, the Pizza Hut pan pizza is way heavier than Domino's. That's right. It's a very greasy and it's not like a good greasy. It's like a, it's like an oil. The, the oil is from a terrorist. That's what oh, okay. they It's from get, terrorists. They don't want to get it from, from America. They get it from a terror. Okay, Luigi, do you know the name of the guy who started Domino's? It, oh, it's a Guido Sarducci. Nope. Close. Tom Monahan was the guy's name. Do you believe oh, it? Is that a, your a, 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 a relative? No relation, unfortunately. Imagine if I had Domino's money, we would go to, into business together, Luigi. Hey, I, I had a question for you, uh, Jackie Amo. I can't wait. Is it, is it Jackie Amo? Is that short for a Jackie or mozzarella? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I thought so because of my name, Luigi Primo, is a short for a Luigi Primo mozzarella. Oh, <laughs> what about Primrose? Uh, prim prim mozzarellos. Prim, <laughs> prim mozzarella. Okay, Luigi, how long have you how long have you been doing this? Um, oh wait, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't a character. This is you. Yeah, this this is a who I am. It's a my self. It's a my id and my ego are smashed together and are revealed for all. I love it. I love it. Same thing happened to Lisa. What? <laughs> except not was up with Tony O'Pollish. What? <laughs> Luigi, if you could have one wish in the world, what would it be? If I could have one wish in the you asked me a very excellent question. Thank and you. I, I know. What I would wish is that a, that I could have infinite of people coming into my restaurant and making an order. So I didn't even have to, to go home and close the restaurant. Just all a day, I'm putting a pizza in the oven and taking it out. Just like a human conveyor belt that only exists to bring a pizza to a people and to a cook it. That's great. To all the people. Just to sort of a Sisyphean existence of serving a pizza. I you think just want to eat, you just want to make pizza all the time. Luigi, do you, do you, I just you, don't want the pain of, of having any extraneous thoughts. Yeah. What about <laughs> how, how, how many pizzas do you eat a week? I would say a six or a seven. Wow. That's a lot. How do you stay thin? So the secret is that a pizza can I can be a made. So I don't know if you guys know this, but when you make a pizza, you can put it whatever toppings you want on it. No. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't have to just to be a pepperoni. You can put a, 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 a mushroom or a sausage or a ricotta. I always put a ricotta and I balance it in a such a way to where it has a perfect macronutrient balance. 
So there's a good amount of a, a, a ricotta for a protein and just a light sprinkling of a cheese and it's a good size. So it's about a 600 calories with a good combination of a carbohydrates and a protein. What about Legos? You said you could put anything on there. So a Lego would be would be maybe a good, except for I think it might have hurt your esophagus, <laughs> the roof of your mouth. It would would have tear it up, and it would hurt. It would have sting, and it would have hurt. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, Luigi, where do you live? I live in a Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. You're yeah. saving the world, if, as long as you vote properly. Where I mean, your politics are your own business, but we're curious. Uh, oh, curious about what? What's your question? What do you, do you, um, who are you going to vote for? <laughs> okay, are we talking, are we talking in midterms? Are we talking a local election? Are we talking a, a congressional? When it comes down to it, um, what, what, Lisa, who do you think is, is going to be running? For president? Yeah. I try not to think about it. Yeah, same, I'm, same. I'm terrified of. What? Yeah, forget it. Forget I asked this question. But I, I just, when I was in South by Southwest. I was at, at South by Southwest, and I remember thinking, these people here have to do, like, they keep, like, from the inside out, like, change a lot of, for the better. And I'm not saying one side's better than the other. There's definitely room for improvement everywhere. Like, I, you know but there's one that's just a whole lot worse than the other. <laughs> we have some good uh, local politicians who uh, had like a good pizza, such as uh, Greg Kassar, he's running for a Congress. He's a, a good friend who's come to see me wrestle many times. Uh, hey, can you see me wrestle? Oh yeah. Have, have you wrestled him? I have a, we've done, we've done some stuff in the ring, but we've never quite a locked up. Did you, have you ever watched Woody Allen wrestle the kangaroo? Oh, there are more boxing. He he wrestles a live kangaroo. Did he did he win in the match? No, absolutely not. You've got That's to not watch surprising. it. That's uh, not Kangaroos are, are they're big. Uh, they get clobbers him. It's just like bum, bum. Yeah, <laughs> you I mean, gotta watch it. Really, I any animal you a fight is a probably going to beat you, except for maybe a certain dogs. Do you think I should? <laughs> do you think I should post it on Instagram, or do you think people will be mad that it's animal cruelty? Well, I think because the kangaroo won, it would be okay. So what happened with your viral video? Tell yeah. us everything. Yeah, so that video- Act like you're doing a TED, TED, TED talk on it. <laughs> so hey, as you will know, I'm a Luigi Primo and I make a best of pizza. So the secret to a good pizza is all about a good dough. You have to have a good combination of a salt and a flour and a water. And it has to be needed for just the right amount of time. Much like that, I try to combine the pizza making skills into my wrestling. For instance, instead of kneading the dough, I use my hands to uh, work my opponent's trapezius muscles to a knee. Oh, them. wow. And oh, then wow. once they're down on the ground like a dough, I jump on them or I put an elbow drop, and that's like topping the pizza. And then I have a finishing move called the pizza cutter where I essentially uh, pull their head onto the mat. It's a based on a move in a wrestling called the cutter. I don't know why it's called that, but that's why I named it a move of that. So I think in a, that way, I combine a pizza making with the wrestling. That's my one contribution, I think, to the uh, to the sport. It's gorgeous. I love and, it. And so back in April, I was doing my normal uh, routine, my normal offense, which is to uh, distract my opponent with a pizza, you know, trying to get them to uh, catch it and to throw it to them, sweep their leg, that kind of a thing. Wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. Will you take a bite out of that crust? Oh, well, I can't. It's not cooking yet. It's not cooking yet. <laughs> but later I will when I cook into a pizza and I send you I send you a slice in the mail and I'm sure it'll be just fine. Uh, I can't wait. I love pizza. L L Luigi. I'm what is, so, so about oh, wait, Lisa has a question. Oh, yes, well, I'm, I'm, ha I'm half Italian. That's a great news. We're a pizza. We're bizarre. that's right. And but and so here's my question that people ask me a lot. They ask they're like, how does your mother make her sauce? As in her spaghetti sauce or like her gravy. Do you know how your mother makes her sauce? Yes, it's a very uh, ancient recipe that goes all the way back to the Roman times. Yeah. Where, 
We actually, she actually got the recipe from a reading a, outside on an urn. I think it wow. was an urn. It showed a man dressed in a toga with a spear and a pizza on the top. Wow. And then she found the ingredients were written on the inner side, and that's how she learned to make a sauce. And she's a passed it down from a, well, one a generation. It's been passed down from a one a generation to me. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> That's so amazing. that's how I learned to make a sauce. I can't get to tell you what's in the sauce. I get but it. Let's just, I get it. Let's just to say this: it's a gossamer right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's always that's always what I say. Somebody says, uh, "Hey, hey, Luigi, what what do you think of this? Uh, these are shoes that I'm wearing." I say, "Hey, it's a gossamer right now." <laughs> right on, Luigi. Right on, Luigi. What if somebody asked you to sell your mother's secret, but they would give you billions of dollars, but you could never make pizza again? They would give you nine billion dollars. There are some things that it, that I don't have a price that I can't sell, and uh, my my ability to make a pizza is a one thing because because I think if I uh, stop making pizza. Uh, I, I don't know who I would be because okay. uh, the way I have a pizza and I have a wrestling. So if I if I lose one, I, I think I will probably uh, uh, blink out of existence. I think oh, I would wow. disappear and sort of have to wrestle. Instead of a wrestling with the people, I would be a wrestling with the avoid. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Um, it's all I have. It's all I have. It's all I got. Um, um, have you ever been to Providence, Rhode Island? Yes, I have. You have? Tell me what happened to you there. What happened to me there is I played a show and there was a man there who was, I would say, he was about a 30 or 5, bald, not very many teeth, physically imposing, with a pit bull at his side. And the show uh, we were doing, he ended up working the door and essentially exploiting the audience to go buy a crack. Uh, <laughs> where was the show? It was in Olneyville. Wow. It was at a warehouse in Olneyville. It was awesome. It was uh, frankly awesome. It was really fun. It was a great. Wow, I love that. But uh, this Amuk, but uh, this this Amuk, uh, he almost uh, hurt a lot of people. But he only ended up uh, hurting himself. All right, all right. Um, have you ever been in in the mob? I have not been in the Amal, but like, a, like all Italians, as I'm sure uh, co-host Elisa Haas can tell you, you know, it's all up in there somewhere. You go back far enough or you go to a certain uh, branch of your family and it gets them mixed up into that. Right, 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 so, right. So there's been, a, you know, my great uncle, he, uh, he, he was a great a good pizza maker and he made a pizza and they said I put a half with the anchovy on our pizza, the people ordering it. He wouldn't do it. They kill. Wow. You so you, have, have you ever seen anybody get killed in front of you? Only my father. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Interesting. And I was just a little bambino. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Lisa has. I, mean, I, don't, I wouldn't have described it as awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's the word I would have to It's the biggest it's laugh we've gotten. gotten. It's, it's the biggest baby. laugh. So what happened? Shut, tell us. Shut, act it out. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm I'm just walking around. I'm just at this point. I can't spit a pizza because my limbs are small and frail. So I'm a throwing like a little uh, bunny toy that I have as in the manner of a pizza. And then uh, my father comes in. He says, "Oh." Uh, uh, Louis, he talked to like, hey, Luigi, what are you doing? Why, why are you throwing that around? And I said, oh, I make a pizza like a grandpa. And he says, oh, you're throwing it like a girl. And then uh, uh, then there's this uh, kind of a blanket spot. I don't remember what happened. And then the next thing I know, he's on the ground. And there's it looks like a, a sauce or some kind of a red substance. And they're taking him away. And that was the end. So I don't actually know how, how it was he died. I'm really sorry about oh, this. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for your condolences. Yeah, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. Have, has either of you ever seen your own father die? <laughs> I didn't see him, but he has died. Oh, likewise, likewise. I didn't very, actually see uh, it I'm, happen. I'm so it's the best thing that ever happened to me, Luigi. It's fine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, wait, are we gonna do um, the donation board again? Let's we do can, the donation board. We can we can flash it. We can make that happen. Let's. Uh, here That's we go. Okay. Here I am. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for being such an amazing audience. You guys, we appreciate it. Um, definitely follow follow the Ouija. I, I've been dropping his uh, his Instagram and Twitter handles in the chat. Do that. Um, follow Lisa. Follow Jackie. But if you feel so compelled, you can also support the show. That's right. You can throw donations down. When you do so, I will put your name on a board. I will. Um, and uh, let's see, let me pull up my board. Let me pull it up. This is this is what you can do. Uh, for $5, $10, or $15, your name's gonna go on a star. That's right. Uh, for 20, 25, and 50, your name's gonna go on some some animated stars there. Let's go, let's go. And uh, you might be asking, <laughs> How? How do I? How do I get my name on the on the stars? How do I? How do I even? Uh, how do I hook it up? And let me tell you, <laughs> this is how you do it. Uh, you guys, you can you can go to uh, PayPal, PayPal.me backslash Comedy Hub, and you can also you can throw down those bits, and you can also <laughs> uh, something on Venmo at uh, at Comedy Hub, and uh, that's that's that. Um, what's that? intro the clip oh do we have a clip up we're gonna see we're gonna see you guys uh we're gonna see the clip that went viral for yay so let's <laughs> do it let's do it right now Ready? <laughs> Wow, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was great. That's really funny. So how has your life changed since you went viral? Yeah, so a lot a lot of happened really fast. Uh, I got a lot of a, a good bookings. I people <gasps> reached me out. I got a lot of a cool of flyouts that I'm very happy about. It. Wow. Yeah, including some I can't that I can't that I mention it yet, but it's it's the craziest, but beyond my wildest of dreams. Oh my gosh! Uh, but as as I'm sure you know, as is somebody who who uh, does the shows, I also have got a lot of people being like, uh, "How much are for Pennsylvania?" And then I tell them, and they start asking me other questions, like, uh, "Who trained you?" And I'm like, "No, no, no, we we don't need to. I don't need to know anything else. We didn't need to have this conversation. You you wrote it to a me, so." Uh, that's all it needs to be. So a lot of a lot of messages that are useless to me, but it's some that are very good. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. I love it. Congratulations. Will you, will you come back? I'm sorry, I have to go. I have an in-person show. Oh well, well, it's a great to meet you, uh, Luigi. It's been a pleasure. You're so fun. Will you dance out with us? Yeah, let's let's do it. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, we have to dance out. We can stay after and Lisa can do some Q&A with you. Let's do some QAnon after. Okay. <laughs> Lisa, can you do some Q&A after? I can, yes. All right. This is our friend Tara. <laughs>